So here's the question. I set a threshold of four kilos for birth weight and won't use bulls with EBVs above this. Then I'll get a set of bulls that reflect this and any other EBVs cutoffs put in place. So what if a bull's presented that outperforms the bulls we have identified across other traits we have in our breeding objective, but has a birth weight of plus six kilos? It's a no deal, right? Well, when examining the scale, we see that the difference in the birth weight EVV between the bull at plus six and our threshold of plus four is only two kilos. As the cows in our herd are a constant, only half of the, this difference will be observed in the progeny. And so we're talking about one kilo. Therefore, we're potentially compromising greater rates of genetic gain in other areas as a result of, in this example, a one kilo difference in average birth weight of the progeny. Whilst this may be significant in some circumstances, it's important that we take a dynamic look at the breeding and selection decisions we make.